Do you have a peanut allergy? <laughs> Folks, it's Saturday night. Welcome aboard Murder Hobo Inc. Uh, one shot uh, scenario. Thanks for showing up. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. Uh, don't forget, you can always join us, but I'll touch base with that in a moment. Tonight, uh, four third level PCs are going into a mission involving clandestine operations, subterfuge, and spy versus spy. They're going into a variant human, and none of them are variant humans. So this show's <laughs> going to suck already. Uh, folks, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit about D&D with us, join our Discord. If you want to buy some cool stuff like a phone case or cool shirts or duvet <laughs> covers, no shit, or a skateboard, uh, check out our shop. Uh, <laughs> most importantly, if you want to be on one of these shows, the One Shots every other Saturday, or on the talk show on Tuesday, not this Tuesday, that's a special show, hit us up, mhobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail, we will get you on the show and uh, give you about two hours worth of entertainment. This Tuesday is a special show. It is going to be uh, hosted by Carol, and she is going to have a discussion with a couple of professional DMs. So love them, hate them, curious about them. Tune in Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for that show. Uh, we'd like to thank, of course, our sponsors, Pirate Dog Dice. If yeah. they piss me off, I'm pulling out Big Red for your <laughs> custom dice needs. Uh, hit them up at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter. And of course, if your game stinks, unlike ours, because ours are always high quality affairs, uh, <laughs> try a little Adventure Sense from Odd Fish Games. Adventure Sense uh, your, will make your game smell a whole lot better. Or you can watch your most hated player hack <laughs> up a hairball like Kyle did uh, when he in took in the intoxicating scent of putrid sewers and threw up for about five minutes. I think I lung is the operative word for what came out. <laughs> I, you know, I, I need to post that because I, I went ahead and cropped that part out. You really should. Yeah. Kyle, you were a jackass for doing that. Yeah. You is were, he? Is he? he? Oh my God, he, he is. Must be he? in chat. Way to go, Kyle. Just cuff <laughs> that putrid sewer sense. He went, uh, woo that's they, also, cool. they also make uh, the Shine system. So if you want to get into writing, check out the Shine system. It'll help you uh, with the ins and outs, the do's and don'ts. Uh, unlike me, who I just shoot from the hip. Enough about me. Nobody gives a crap. Let's hear about our players who are going to handle Tarpus taxes in keeping with our last murder hobo uh, between the roles episode. First off is Rob. Rob with the ears. Who are you? Who are you playing? Um, I'm Rob. I'm a regular on the uh, one shots here on Murder Hobo, and I play in the Calamity campaign as Dave. Um, you can find me on all the things at Cthulhu Rob. Um, and tonight I'm playing my Tabaxi Mist. He's a Tabaxi rogue with a scout background, soldier scout background. So. Good call, a giant cat now. A town full of varying humans. That's going to help out. <laughs> Next up is Carol. Carol, same question, different answers. Hey everyone, as you all know from what he just said, my name is Carol. Who? Uh, who? Yeah, you know. Um, With a K. I, I, yeah, I, I, otherwise known as apparently Eileen from now until the end of time. Uh, due to my campaign character having only one leg. Could call you IHOP. <laughs> old, old campaign. That campaign's dead. Okay. Yeah, well, those characters may see the light of day again uh <laughs> let's see what so i'll use my usual bs at the beginning i am a long time gamer occasional gm commission mini painter uh and tonight i'm gonna play torga my sledgehammer wielding dwarf fighter Tabaxi and i guess dwarf. I wow what what what's wrong with that what's wrong with having a tabaxi is there a problem with that yeah, I understand that you absolutely hate them, you racist bitch. <laughs> Folks, we are Not for mature all. audiences only, by the way. Carol hates Tabaxi. That is lore. That is it. In fact, yeah, hates Minotaurs more. Actually, uh, I hate I hate having Larry most of all. So I think she just hates. What furry. did Larry ever do to you? She just hates people. Next up, David. <laughs> Yeah, next up is me. Hi, I'm David. You can find me on, usually on Tuesdays, on Between the Rolls, uh, The Cacophony Show, we'll call it that, <coughs> and The Calamity Campaign. Uh, tonight, I'll be playing Valiant. 
Yeah, he's a uh, Oath of Conquest paladin. Nothing can go wrong with that. <laughs> but he's a very human, correct? Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, we have symbiosis. When did it? When did I didn't get any message about this being like having to be all humans? That did you guys? No, I didn't send that. I just so then you know what the hell did he expect? I'm sure Jesse also went with very inhuman. Jesse, who are you? Who are you playing? Uh, hi, I am Jesse. Uh, I am usually on the uh, <clears throat> Calamity campaign as uh, I can't even remember my character's name. That one guy who does the stuff with the Azari. Bow and arrow. The lion. Yeah. yeah. Azari. Oh man, it's been a long day. Uh, Azari. Um, tonight I will be playing a uh, Minotaur gunslinger uh, by the name of Moon Collins. Sure, that fits right into the fight. Of course it is. That is, that is awesome. That's uh, not cool. <laughs> now, folks, these guys have been hired by Baroness Coffa to go in and uh, try and ferret out the mood, make sure that the tax collection, which is a smidge higher here recently due to all the building projects in Tarpus, uh, goes well. <laughs> uh, she's already sent in the military to help collect the taxes, so the PCs will not have to do any of the heavy lifting. They're just there to try and garner the mood, cut off any uh, derision or anger in the populace. Uh, very simple, very easy task for them. They are going in as a group of merchants, right? That's what you guys decided on? I think so. One I think merchant, yeah. one merchant, aka a valiant, and the rest of us are his hired thugs. Uh, for all you new viewers out there, if you saw the tweet today, yes, we're giving away some Murder Hobo Ink dice. All you got to do is leave your contact point in the chat. You don't even have to watch the whole show, but uh, we're kind of like a virus. We grow on you. No, we're moss. Eh, bacteria? I'm not sure. Mold. We'll <laughs> bacteria mold. 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 I'm kind of fungus. Uh, but yeah, uh, no current Murder Hobo cast members are allowed to put it in. And if I see uh, Arlo, not Kyle, at Twitter, I'm not even going to consider that. Yeah, much. Kyle. <laughs> Arlo can't play. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you guys have been sent in. You guys are coming from the east. If our producer will go ahead and throw up the map for a few seconds. Uh, this is the map of Tarpus. Oh, my God. We're, we're a pro outfit, folks. Don't worry about it. So this is the map of Tarpus. It has several districts. It is a small but growing uh, establishment. Uh, Lord Uffy uh, has decided on multiple business projects and building projects, uh, but that's going to require some coin. Ergo, he has had to levy the citizens a wee bit. Uh, did he levy them all? I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, you guys are coming in uh, on the road from the east. Uh, there are multiple buildings. The lighter shaded ones uh, there on the right are buildings under construction. Uh, people are moving to and fro. The road leads up a hill. Uh, but if you want to bypass the hillside district, uh, you can go anywhere you want that's on this map. Do not fuck me over. <laughs> or I will send a goddamn dragon after you. So, where do you want to go first? Where's the alcohol? I've never seen a dragon. Uh, D12 oh. against me. Oh, okay. And New dice, who this? Uh, well, uh, nope, five. Uh, well, I declare, what kind of ruffian just barges into our town and asks for alcohol? Shame on you, you, you. Short person, uh, the lady with a silk umbrella stomps away through the mud, splattering it in a variety of directions. So there's far, mud. it's a Wait. warm greeting. Wait, there's Bye mud? Now. Yeah. There's mud. I kind of take my weapon and I want to flick some at her because she looks too pretty. That's right. And she's turned yeah. 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 No, after she's facing away from me. Yeah, sure, because there's nobody else around. <laughs> so go ahead and give me a uh, deception roll. Because, you know, this is so good for me. You know, or sleight of hand, either one. They're both just very good. That's a nine. What yeah, you check? got spotted. <gasps> oh, wait, 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 check, wait, check, wait, check. No, actually, well, I'll go with sleight of hand, 11. 11 is still not good enough. Four people spot you and begin to murmur at these furriners and just... 
muddled their way into our homestead. <laughs> uh, Valiant, they're looking at you. Uh, D12 against me. Yeah, yeah. I saw, yep. Let the fuckery begin. Uh, four. Uh, six. They verbally berate you, Valiant, and tell you to keep <laughs> your people in line. Your people? No worry, good citizens. I'll take care. I'll bring in my ruffians right here. I, they call us people. This is what you can get. <laughs> this is what you can get for the coin nowadays. So per Persuasion. Okay. Persuasion. Here we go. Uh, 18. Uh, well, see that you do. Good, sir. That's nicely polished armor. Uh, <laughs> Torga, give me an attack roll. Using dexterity uh, as your modifier. Oh, goody. Let's see. Well, I've got a dex modifier. Um, God, I can't read it. Oh, it's 11 plus... I assume I add my uh, proficiency bonus too. So yep. 11 plus 4 is 15. Uh, that mud you flicked hit her right squarely in the ass. Yes. That's and what I'm going for. She is not happy. Uh, she stomps across uh, the open section to uh, what could best be described as a shrine or a church there in the opening. Uh, she's going to report you to the Holy Fathers. So good luck. Uh, everybody else, as you look around, uh, you can stay on the road. You can meander around. Any building in brown is being torn down. Okay. Folks at home, we'll go ahead and throw up the map every once in a while at indiscriminate intervals. Uh, but all four of the players do have a copy of the map. Yeah, wait. So do you want to go... To up hillside, or do you want to wander over to the Church of Sato, or do you want to go somewhere else? Where are we to collecting these taxes or dealing with this issue? How about that? We're not you collecting. collecting. You're not collecting. Well, dealing whatever the issue is. Where is that located? We probably need to find the issue. First. This, is a, mm. this is a track and report. You guys mm -hmm. got to figure out if there's an issue, what the issue is, is it serious enough to call in the military? Oh, also, you guys have a uh, person on the inside. It is Lieutenant Chloe. Where are they located? Military zone? I would assume. Why don't we go there and get a report from them? Unless anybody's got a better idea. And I'm well, why don't that. you just take charge? Go That's right, right. You want to stomp across the mud? Dun, 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 dun. It's feel it's it's good and squishy and earthy and now just, oh, just below just below the church of Sato to the right of Old Town and to the left of Hilltop is a cobblestone plaza. Around the back of the church is all open field. Honestly, I am I'm, I'm good with whatever people want to do, but that would be my idea. Is why don't we find out? Why don't we see what info we have first? I say, why don't we check in with our contact? And yeah. I think probably the most uh, just rubble rousing that we could find will probably be in Old Town. Or the Port District. But our or, or where's, that, wait, where's our contact? Are they military district? Probably. Are they in the military, the military zone? Probably. Yeah, they're in the military district because they're military. Okay. I reckon it'd probably be best if not all of us <laughs> check the military zone. If we're to be if we're to be incognito and not necessarily uh, show our hand to everyone, it'd probably be good if only one of us went there. Uh, that way, wow. we're not all put together. Well, that's well, well only one of us only one of us would <laughs> would blend in around here. So, what are you well, saying? I put on my military. <laughs> all I can think of is. Uh, did you see Charlie Day and Horrible Bosses too? No, yeah. not yeah. old prospector. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's go take him out. Come let's on, go check him out. I'm ready to shoot somebody. Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, okay, the motion's been made that only one of you go do the military contact, and the other three, I don't know, screw off. Uh, I want to go at least to be in the general area so close by in case anything goes tits up 
Okay. I don't Tor like Tor splitting. Torg is going to stay behind. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be gonna be. I don't I, I don't like splitting the party personally, but for this scenario, I briefed myself and I I'm completely fine with it. Okay. Okay. All right. You're always fine. fine let's go. I'll go. Yeah, I don't really have a choice because you fuckers do no. it to me anyway. But... Or, or maybe, <laughs> or maybe it'd be in our best interest if we also report ourselves into the military zone as we are an eclectic band of uh, adventurers in this uh, mostly human town. As people walk by. Yeah. Ma'am. I, I concur. That Sir. Is, that is a good idea. I'll put my, you know what, just for SG, I will put my cloak over my head. <laughs> I now look like a child. Somebody hit her with a bat. <laughs> I look like a large child. Oh. Uh, I take her by the head. Now, Who male brought junior. their oversized now, baby? Now, now junior. <laughs> Dra dragging her morning star or yeah. freaking yeah. great no, axe. Sledgehammer, man. It's a sledgehammer. It's otherwise a warhammer, but I'm... Awesome. <laughs> nice. Peter uh, Gabriel first... is just invading my mind. Exactly. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. So, uh, where do you want to go? Her mother was a handsome woman. so <laughs> That's right. Where are we going? All right, we're going. Let's to the... go to the military district. We yeah. can behind the church, in front of the church, where there's cobblestones. In front of the church, it is. I'm uh, going to take out my uh, military tabard and put it on as a sash with my badge of former rank on it, just as we go towards the military district. Oh, oh! Look, I declare it's miscongeniality. <laughs> Uh, you meet four people who kind of step in front of you. Uh, you know that group of people who are always somewhere that they think they run the place? Yeah. yeah. But this would be those four. Uh, okay. One of them is dressed like uh, a priest-ish. Uh, one of them is uh, dressed in an apron. One of them looks like an asshole because, you know, I'm running this show. Uh, Every and, NPC. And, Every NPC. And one of them smells of fish. Uh, potential targets. Uh, the churchy dude stops and goes, pardon, friends. Manuel Linder here. Uh, I see that you are not from these parts. Looks at the three of you, uh, then focuses in on Valiant and points out, are these individuals with you? Uh, indeed they are. The fishmonger pops up and smell, says, these guys smell funny. <laughs> these are the, the escorts for uh, my oh, caravan. Oh, how much? How Not much for the cat? <laughs> <laughs> More than you well, afford. missed. What's More your negotiating you price? I kid you. <laughs> I'm I'm taken, and I'm actually you know get the handle of my sledgehammer, and it's out and on my oh, shoulder. Can you even see there? Uh, no, she's no. like she's like ET. E. No, <laughs> it's, it's over my shoulder. You no, know, and I'm just sort of you know doing this. Uh, Torga, you will hear the familiar shrill voice of someone that you met already. And she was with those people. You know the ones I'm talking about. Them. <laughs> Maybe you, they, you people. You know, if there wasn't an in in incident here, we're, I think we're going to create one. Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm like, be cool. <laughs> now, uh, gentle sirs, if you would excuse us, we're on our way to the military district to register ourselves so as not to cause any more inconvenience with you or the people around. Yes, that's where we're headed. Persuasion. Persuasion. <laughs> or, or intimidation, either one. Oh, my intimidation's much better. <coughs> I figured it would. Be. Who knew? Oh, nice, was uh, nineteen. Nice. Now there was discussion. Uh, did you have a bull ring or a Prince Albert? Did we ever decide on that one? We did not decide. Uh, <laughs> uh, they all kind of shirk back at the boisterous appearance of the Minotaur. Yeah. Uh, and 
Thank you very much. That'll be enough of the you people euphemisms for the night. Uh, and you guys can proceed. Uh, and we appreciate it, gentlemen. As you get to the military zone, uh, there's a picket line of guards. Uh, you can tell they're noobs, essentially. They're having, they have spears. They're leaning on them. And one of them looks at you guys and goes, is the circus in town? Yeah, sure. Can I I'm the strong you? woman, man. I'm the strong woman. Are, are, are you still covered? No. Well, I mean, you could see in my... I'm not like, you know, the thing isn't over my face like that. It's just... It's just kind of covered. You have you know. a cowl up. Yeah, it's not like you took the back of your cloak no, and just not, draped it over. Basically, right. Right. that's what it sounded like you did. No, 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 no. Like, like, like this. You know, like this. <laughs> I know. I'm just saying what it's. No, it, it sounded like, like you were just covered. Completely. Oh, he's a different oh. soldier. He's come to no. town to see. No, I need to be able to see. Okay, if you put the thing over your head and you can't see anything, so I need to be able to see. So no, I'm not that. It's just if you look from behind. Ho oh, there. This is the military zone. What can I help you with? Uh, uh, yes, we're here actually to formally check in. We're the newly arrival in town. This is my merchant caravan. <coughs> Somebody so dropped figured, the name. So I figured uh, we should best. You Where know, are your wares? Uh, they're they're parked outside a hilltop. We have more. Probably more not. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> sir, it's finding to be best that you come into town and uh, look at what the situation is before bringing in your full products. Exactly. Half a day out. So. That one I will buy. That's where we <laughs> say they are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. What do you uh, What do you want? Well, Lieutenant, uh, what's their face? Lieutenant, what's her face? That's what Lieutenant, I said. Lieutenant actually, Chloe. <laughs> Lieutenant actually, Chloe, if we could, sir. Yes, we were told to check in with her. Okay. All right. uh, go in uh, straight down this line. Uh, fourth tent on the right. Big blue banner of a of a sheep. I, I didn't think about that one. <laughs> nice. Uh, wow. the the nice cut of arms. The tabard is a blue sheep. sheep. Uh, <laughs> you know, oh, God. There it's a ram. <laughs> sure, we'll here. go with a ram. Yeah, it looks like the Dodge logo. <laughs> yeah. So, and he uh, he lets you pass by because there's, okay. there's not a fence here. Uh, it's a hive of activity. The military seems to be set up in different groups. Uh, everybody give me perception check. Uh, 22 12 8 16 uh, Everybody but Moon uh, Over here stuff uh, It sounds like the military dudes Are getting ready to go out On a run uh, It sounds like And you guys each hear sparse bits of it With the exception of Moon uh, It sounds like they're going to the merchants area The clergy area and Riverside to collect taxes today. Well, I, I think it's best that we get to, to Chloe as, <coughs> and then maybe as quickly as it. possible. Yeah, this is early, not early morning, but mid morning. Uh, so yeah. they're getting a slow start. They don't want to overexert themselves. It's a government <laughs> job. Okay. Uh, you go down the main road, you see a uh, nice tent with a blue tabard of a Dodge Ram symbol, we'll say. We'll <laughs> Ram tough. Uh, and there's a guard outside. Doesn't seem to give two shits. Looks at you guys. Uh, whoa. What do you want? Uh, Lieutenant Chloe. Whom, may I say, is calling? Uh, that is a very damn good question. <laughs> I'm sorry, do you not know who you Table are? Talk. He is the merchant <laughs> prince <laughs> valiant. Yes, yes. I am I am merchant uh, valiant. Holy shit, there's a talking cat. There <laughs> is a talking cat. Amazing. Far more than talk. You're very astute. He's also so. not on all fours either. You know, it's if good. I told anybody else, I they would tell they me I was not... full of bulls. Howdy, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Son. 
<laughs> It'd be best if you uh, direct us to Lieutenant Chloe, if you can. Yeah. She'd be right in there, sir. Appreciate it. And I just start walking by, walk by. <laughs> yeah, just walk You're it in. Dead. 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 Lieutenant, people to see you. Uh, you walk in and there's a lady, uh, but she's a half orc, uh, which isn't a bad thing, but mm-hmm. uh, kind of unusual here. Variety. Um, yeah. You guys would understand that she is from the eastern side of the kingdom. Uh, which is much more integrated. Uh, these guys, you're dealing with local yokels. Uh, you know, salt of the earth. More. You know, morons. <laughs> Frank, you didn't say we were playing in my hometown. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I am from Indiana, so it could be anywhere here. Uh, so uh, you walk in and she looks at you at four and she's like, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Lieutenant Chloe, we were we were sent to check in with you. By who? By who? Uh, yeah, who was our contact? Oh, the, the the Lieutenant, board. we're here on a request from the Queen uh, yeah. to check in on the issues of taxation that have been going on, the uh, small bits of, uh, <laughs> how do you put it, uh, insurrection that may be uh, uprising from this current situation. Well, I wasn't going to say that out loud and actually speak an orc to her about it to be surreptitious about it, but uh, okay, we'll go with that. <laughs> I'm not very, I'm not wise. I'm just, I'm, always, I'm not a wise person. I'm straightforward. Hey, I defer to Moon. Here hey, uh, Dungeon Master, I'm taking, I want to take a look around and see if anybody might be taking interest in this conversation. Uh, the guy that she was talking to is kind of interested. Uh, she's like, uh, I thought this was supposed to be a clandestine mission. You guys don't uh, fit here. <laughs> we're the ones who answered the call. I was about to say, we're the best Madam. that she's got right now. The community <laughs> decides no one will fit who comes from outside. Besides, you're not, you don't exactly, pardon me, but you don't exactly fit in here either. By Hello. their standards. Uniform. Yeah. But Hello, you, uniform. but 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 this your face. It's it's okay. What's wrong I don't with my pro- face? Nothing. I <laughs> Are don't you have an sure? Issue. Because you kind of pointed that out to me. Is there something wrong with my countenance? There, no. short stuff. But don't they? Do they have an <laughs> issue? Do, but do they have an issue with you at all? I'm curious because we got she, some. She looks. turns to the side and says, "Sergeant." The man snaps to salutes her. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. Is there a problem with my face? Ma'am, it is too pretty to be here, ma'am. Wow. Well, it's nice <laughs> to know that uh, I didn't know fear is still a common... It's nice to know that fear is still a common issue in the military. Yeah. So the townsfolk leave you alone? I am the military adjutant for this area. The people will do what I say, when I say it, or they will pay a price. And now, Phil, excuse me just a moment. Sergeant, make sure that you go ahead and get Riverside, the church, and uh, the merchant section in Wayberry. I want this done by nightfall. Send your men out. Get it done. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. He walks out and starts, you can hear him screaming outside the tent, forming up groups. Now, uh, I trust that you guys have come in on your very best behavior and haven't created any disturbance so that you can at least try and blend it. You'd hope so. We're, we're making an effort. <laughs> that works. Uh, Torga, D12 against me. D what? 12? D12. Where's my D12? Okay. 11. Ha, ha, ha. 12. Very good. The uh, church folk have not arrived yet. <laughs> uh, so, uh, what is your plan of action? I don't know. What I ask her. To do? I ask her where. What's been the hotbed of derision around here? Uh, well, we have had information that there are three groups that have it, uh, issues with the tax. And we are trying to narrow them down as best we can. Uh, there is also an individual over in Hilltop uh, who says he is a 
peaceful protester, uh, <laughs> but uh, we do not trust him and we are keeping a close eye on that individual. Yes. Uh, he may or may not be a member of one of these three groups. Um, if I may ask, what is uh, what makes him a such a high priority as being a peaceful protester? <laughs> have you been to Hillside? Uh, I, I, we did come from that area. Well, I, I'm I'm not sure if your region has a name for Hillside. What we call it is a hippie commune. <laughs> ah. Uh, and, I understand. And, and this agitator, Billy Joe Turnbuckle, uh, has a rather large following of degenerates. Turnbuckle. So what you're saying, he uh, has the ability to amass a small army that could contest you. They are under uh, the influence of medicinal herbs, as they put it. I don't think that they would be much of a fighter as you would, I would imagine you could probably clean out the nest uh, with very little effort. But if uh, his charismatic efforts were turned on the rest of the general populace, uh, that could create an issue. I see. Well, I'm not saying that I would fight him. I'm just uh, pointing out that uh, based on the ranks of your military, as I've seen so far, they have not uh, shown themselves to be too astute when it comes to uh, their duties. Right. I, I, I appreciate that uh, observation. So uh, in the slender meeting that I've had with you, I'm ugly and my troops are stupid. Is that uh, the general gist of what you guys are telling me? No. Nope. Are you sure you're from the office of the queen? I did <laughs> not say that well, at all, baroness. but hey. Uh, just pointing out that uh, your countenance is not high on my priority list at this moment uh, but as a person you seem to be very lovely and um, have means about you to uh, handle yourself we're just here to make sure that anything else is our, uh, taken care of our orders from the military standpoint are to collect the taxes that is our only task we are not local law enforcement. We are not here to enforce the laws. We are here to collect the taxes and take them from point A, Lord Tuffy's Tower, to point B, Baroness's Keep. Anything else that happens in this town is uh, part of Lord Tuffy and his crew of motley military wannabes. Are they the local law enforcement? Such as they are. Ah. If you uh, thought my troops were bad. I was about to say, therein lies the problem. Ah, so that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. My pleasure. So are you guys going to try and <clears throat> blend in? <laughs> I don't think that's possible, really. Except I for Fallon. I would concur. <laughs> Ma'am, have you ever been a part of an insurrection or have seen an insurrection before? Yes. Fantastic. Then what you should know is those with the common sense to truly insurrect would like to gain themselves the upper hand of someone who's not from their home, um, that they may be able to uh, garner strength in different numbers. So with ourselves here, we could use ourselves as a, uh, there's a possibility of us being a, a fly in the ointment, you could say. Very nice. I would agree. May I speak bluntly? You I haven't. Know. You haven't been? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep insulting her. That's working so yeah. far. Uh, what's, wrong, at, wait, 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 <laughs> what, what's wrong with that? I'm blunt too. <laughs> she, she looks at Moon and says, you and I appear to be cut from the same bolt of cloth. I'm sure you and I would probably handle an insurrection the same way. As for being a fly in the ointment, that goes with a job. I don't know how much you guys are getting paid, but as far as I know, you guys are supposed to find out any information and report back to us. And if it involves tax issues, then we solve it. That's the or, goal. Yeah. There you go. What's your plan of action? <clears throat> well, I think we should uh, kind of find out what group is yelling the loudest. 
And my guess it's the the one with the peaceful protester. It may also uh, behoove us to meet up or possibly get to one of the areas uh, your men will be taking taxes from beforehand, maybe that's, gauge their response. That's true. Currently, that would be the Wayberry District. Uh, the Merchant District in Wayberry. You know what? I, you made put a, it. I made a mistake. Merchants are G. Hilltop. Hilltop Clergy, which is the church, and Riverside, which is H. Uh, which Hilltop. you guys don't understand. Clergy. So it's the church, gotcha. the hillside, <laughs> Hilltop, and Riverside is where they're going. Oh, Tomorrow yeah. we will go for Wayberry, Old Town, and the Port District. Okay. I really should have spaced that differently. <laughs> uh, if you'd like, you can go speak with Lord Tuffy himself, although he is what you would call obtuse. Oh, boy. So he's a moron, is what you're yeah, saying. Man. He's, he fits he's into wish. this town real well. There's a lot of that that goes on in this town. Got either. it. Her disdain for town. him is on display. I was about uh, to say, he and this town are cut from the same cloth. We got it. I reckon, has this town ever had a black sheriff? <laughs> Name there was, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> that, the, nice. Th there was a near vote. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, Lord Tuffy is uh, of darker persuasion. Oh. Intriguing. Well, have, you, ha have you seen Resident Alien? Mm -hmm. That's who that guy is. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> yep. Well so, met. So, Moon Collins, I think you're going to find a soulmate here. Yeah, okay, you yeah, both yeah. wear the same hats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, well, man. Man. go about your business and good luck. Yell if you need any of my men's assistance, and I'll try and make sure you get the smarter ones. Thank you. <laughs> so begins the issue. Where do you guys want to go? Uh, we should go to Hilltop before the military gets there so we can hang back and observe who bitches and moans the most. Also, it may be a good idea to meet up with that. Uh, Billy uh, Joe Turnbuckle? Billy Joe Turnbuckle, yeah. He's right there in Hilltop. So. It'd be a real shame if something happened to him. Yeah. Well, it'd be best not to make a martyr out of someone. No. If he did, it could be by uh, ending his problematic ways, uh, may make a worse ending of it. It would probably be best to... Uh, Accidents enter. happen. Uh, yes, but that may make him a martyr at any point. It may be better to uh, slander, find something slanderous or negative about him and uh, let that ruminate about 10. Don't know how to do that. Spycraft 101. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. I'm so, not that's good to, at that sort of thing. To hillside, yeah, hilltop. Yeah. Uh, hilltop. Sorry. Uh, as you guys leave the military zone, you notice the military has surrounded the Church of Sato. Hut 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 <laughs> hut 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 hut. hut. Nice. Uh, they are pulling the priests out, and the priests and the nuns do not <coughs> look happy at all. So it looks like uh, the clergy. What the? You it's mean that the clergy are not tax exempt? They are not tax what? exempt. What oh, the fuck? Yeah. Yes. The part, that's, Bill Barr. the part that's more disconcerting is the fact that they're surrounding them and pulling them out like as yeah. though they've never, they'll never pay taxes ever. And now it's your, this is it. Taxes are die. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, as you walk by, everybody roll a straight up D20. Obviously, Lord Tuffy doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> Lord awesome. Tuffy needs cash, man. Yeah. Public That's policy a... is Brute Squad. I am the Brute Squad. Ha! Two. What are we rolling? D20, D20 straight up. And yes, I got a two. 19. 16. 15. Uh, Moon Collins, you notice they are pulling out a fat, well-vested individual, bald, typical old-style uh, priest. Uh, <laughs> he is vehemently opposed to this issue uh, and uh, is screaming at the top of lungs that he will not have this. Uh, there will be a plague upon this city, yada, yada, yada. Uh, you guys can 
saunter on by. Uh, the military units go in and you can hear from the inside that they are sacking the place. Uh, we, are we going to saunter on by? Or watch, eat popcorn. You know, there might be a vendor, La Rata, on a stick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> La Rata. Ooh, La Rata. La Rata? Uh, uh, as a, you know what? As a matter of fact, as you guys stand there and observe this debacle against organized religion, mm -hmm. for uh, Moon Collins, you hear, oh dear, that's going to be a problem. Uh, as all four of you hear this, uh, there is a small older woman right behind Moon Collins, spectacles, carrying a large book. We all heard her say that? Yep, but she is closest to Moon. I turn, I'm like, what's a problem? Well, I just completed the books, and I'm just going to have to redo them all. <clears throat> wait, 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 what do you mean? She's the church accountant. I am Karen. Uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. okay. I am the church accountant. Oh, I'm sorry. Right here. But, uh, well, I mean, I hope it won't be too difficult. I mean, you're just deducting the taxes off the books, right? D12 against me, Torga. <laughs> Six. Uh, nope, 12. Uh, no, yeah. little, no little girl. Uh... I don't look like a little girl. She can see my face. Maybe she can't. I know I turned to face her, so. <laughs> or are you a true to... female? Are, are you, you a true female? No, I no, I don't, I don't usually play dwarves with beard. <laughs> Five E dwarf. She's, she's got the yeah. uh, gang symbol carved out of her eyebrow. <laughs> she's, uh, she probably she's, has a scar right here. They're going. She shaves every morning. <laughs> oh, she does have. She actually. Well, if you count that, half of her head is actually shaved. It's she's got one of those, you know, hairstyles. Yeah, like this. Yeah. This half and is. I like, thought we stood out. Wow. Oh yeah, she she is friggin'. She's got short hair. Yeah, so she's got short hair, and half of her shit is head is like shaved, and uh, so, so yeah, you're like a Viking dwarf. Kind of sorta, yeah. Okay. Uh, I have. I, I will post in somewhere the the Hero Forge mini I have for her actually. Uh, yeah. yeah, I no, I I was given specific orders by the vicar. Uh, oh well, okay. Yeah, I don't know if you want to go over there though. I mean, I'll uh, be I'll be honest, sir. I kind of like her, so. If I may ask you, uh, how has the new taxes changed from prior? How much has that uh, changed your books? Has it been a large negative to you all or is it uh is it fairly even keel not applicable uh she says uh well it hasn't <laughs> changed my job at all it just changes the numbers in the book and that's what my i meant is. the numbers ma'am has it has it made them oh has the it, vicar is highly upset have you, you we have guys, been tax exempt for years i was gonna ask that this is your first tax season where you're not tax exempt Yes, Vicar Block is not going to be happy at all. He's not. Um, he's busy yelling his head off over there. How, Herbert, how, Herbert Robert Block is going to be very upset at this. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> God. Hey, uh, how, how long uh, has Lord Tuffy been Lord? Of, uh, uh, Lord Tarvis? Tuffy's only been here two years. But okay. he is making great strides in the uh, refacing of our community. I would say for the better. Yes, I would say for the better. But the church right. doesn't like losing their money. That's one saying. pro tax. Do you like losing your money? If no. it's, for, it's for an applicable cause, ma'am. Yes, it's I part of life and society. I, I would consider that this uh, is a cause that's very noble. Uh, not deity-esque noble, but very noble. I mean, they're going to redo the sewers in the Wayfair, or Wayberry district. Is there anybody from the congregation do I notice around clutching pearls and stuff like that? Like, oh, yeah. Uh, pretty I, upset? The, the whole plaza has stopped to watch this thing. Okay. Speaking of the plaza, is there a vendor of rat on a stick? Because Sure. I'll give, <laughs> La, I'll give La Rata. No. <laughs> Is there a, like a commanding officer or somebody over there who's not like bursting into the church that I can? You see the sergeant. Okay. 
And that's the one we ran into earlier, I'm guessing, right? Correct. Uh, I'm going to walk up to him real fast. Uh, Sergeant, if I might have a moment of your time. I'm backing Moon up. <laughs> this be the... Just, uh, <laughs> just for um, further... Just to further the uh, positive reviews, uh, Lord Tuffy, as well as yourselves, make it in this town. Maybe not use such a heavy hand when garnering taxes, and maybe uh, a gentler touch would be much needed. So don't surround the place and look like you're going to ransack them for everything they have. Maybe just ask for their taxes, and if they do not give numbers that are sufficient, then you would maybe move to further... Uh, uh, works as we'll call it shocked face <laughs> obviously you're taking these words to heart um and you're very much so uh, you, you're, you made several good points i think by lunch I, I should be able to digest them all gotcha i'll uh i'll remember that in the long run sergeant good keep up the good work <clears throat> Uh, no, no, no. And he, st he starts screaming, no, no, no. Don't take the iconography out. Put, put the double cross back. Put the double cross back. <laughs> How does it feel to be tempting the fate of a god, you know? I, I, I'm sorry. Is, is our job over your head on what we're doing here? Did him <laughs> Maybe we should uh, make Frank's our way. Frank's asshole village is here. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure who to root for in yeah, this case. I agree. I mean, well, you've only talked to one person, and they've we've talked to one person. Yeah, and we yeah. Have, then we have the military who's just doing their job. Yeah, it's they it's follow kind of orders risk. or people die. Yeah, <laughs> should we just get to where we were gonna go? Maybe we yeah, should. You got, you Let's just go. go. As, as you get to hillside, you notice it's kind of a well, it's a hill in the middle of this val valley uh, that the town sits in. Uh, you also notice uh, there are a lot of old dilapidated buildings uh, and grapevines are in heavy abundance on this hillside. Uh, it's about two, 300 feet up, uh, but the entire hump of this hill is just covered in shitty old buildings with uh, graffiti on it and uh, grapevines, uh, and everybody roll perception check. So Napa Valley. <laughs> I was thinking uh, Spandau uh, Ranch, I believe is what it's called. I don't see 10. Straight up D20s? Yep, perception. Perception. Oh, perception, sorry. Moon. Oh, sorry, I read that wrong. That's I thought it was a, I thought I had a plus one. I'm sorry, that's a negative one. That's, <laughs> that's six. Oh, uh, I thought I rolled bad. Uh, let's see, uh, 15. Uh, Mist and Valiant. Uh, no one's really tending to these vines. Certainly no one is tending to these buildings. However, somewhere near the top, music is heard. Hmm. And there are, there are trails leading up, like dirt paths, uh, right. leading from one dilapidated building to the other, and it just kind of circles around up to the top of the hill. Okay. Um, Anybody want to try the grapes? Yeah, I will. They're good. I think of wine, Ooh. actually, when I see all this. <laughs> That's disappointing that they haven't uh, kept up with the upkeep. This could be quite the uh, industrious section of town if it were to be well-maintained. <laughs> Oh. I know. Think of all the bottles of wine that we get from here. Oh, it'd be so good. <laughs> uh, yeah. as, you guys, as you guys continue your climb, all yeah. four of you hear the music, and it can best be described as folk music. Ah, we're at the hippie commune. Yeah, indigo girls are playing yeah. and stuff like that. As you reach a small <laughs> plateau, you see a collection of people Nice. Wait, waving to the music. And in the center is an individual with no shoes, a beard that is unkempt, playing a lute, but the neck of the lute is very long. Uh, he wears a headband that is white <laughs> around his flowing brown hair. And he is just twanging this instrument, 
playing a very melodic tune and everybody seems happy. Do you want to interrupt him or wait till he's done? I, I say we can wait until he's done. <clears throat> he gets done and he goes, brothers and sisters, go and collect the bounty and then let us make wine from it so How that we may mind? enjoy life. Brother Seth, you go ahead and collect your herbs and we will all partake in them. <laughs> Strangers, welcome. Welcome to Hilltop. How may I help you? <laughs> well, um, don't I, worry. All are welcome in Hilltop. <laughs> well, Background. I that. All are welcome. All are welcome. Kool Aid. Kool Aid. Yeah, yeah. All Kool-Aid. speak at the same time. Yeah. All are welcome in Hilltop. <laughs> It's good for the goose. Good wait, for the gander. Wait. They're and making I, what? I, wait, they're making wine or Kool Aid? Grape Kool Aid. They're making wine. Mm. And actually, I think they do have a chant. Hang on a second. Oh God. <laughs> uh, no, these guys do not have a chant. They don't. That's, have- that's, 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 that is somewhere else. Mm. <clears throat> what may I do for you? Have you come for the wine? Uh, yes, actually. Could you tell us a little bit uh, about the wine? And it's delicious. It's heavenly. It expands your mind. Oh boy! You You notice that there's a sell this wine scent coming off this guy. A very yeah pungent Uh, aroma. uh, Skunky. (laughs) A little little on the skunky side. Does it smell like the bag that Mist has in his bag? Most likely. Probably. <laughs> we don't sell our product. We are but shadows on this life. We must care for it and reap its rewards as one and all. It's like an anarcho cynicalist okay. collective. I'm, I'm taking a look around. Uh, do I see anything out of place like <coughs> ill-gotten goods or anything like that? No, actually, there's uh, very few uh, physical goods here. This place, as I pointed out, the buildings are dilapidated. They mm-hmm. are, they are, for lack of a better term, vandalized. Uh, I'll, we can also call it artwork. Uh, some of them, as you look around, are quite negative towards the local authority, Lord Tuffy. Uh, mm-hmm. One, uh, everybody roll a d20. High, highest roll will notice this. Twelve. Sorry, twelve. Six. Twelve is you and me, Moon. Twelve is (laughs) nice. Torgan, you notice one is an unflattering portrait that looks like the uh, Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters, (laughs) and it says Puffy Tuffy on it. (laughs) Nice, nice. I kind of snicker at it. Uh, the man starts to pick dirt out of his toenails. Oh, God. That's and you notice he's wearing so kind gross. of a, a, a kilt. With? And when he does, he kind of hikes his leg up. So it's What's one he of picking those dirt where, out of his toenails with? Uh, just his fingernails at this point in time. Not his teeth. Uh, can I help you? Sir, if I may, who... Uh... Who are you exactly? Uh, my name is Moon Collins. It's a pleasure. I'm Billy Joe Turnbuckle. You don't have any relatives on Sedellus, do you? I'm not sure where Sedellus is. Bugging the fuck out of me because you Turnbuckle was was there. I'm just reusing names at this Apparently. point. At this point, yeah. It's just like... It's I, I, I've read like 500 fucking adventures, man. I just... You, know, you guys are lucky yeah, not everybody's for, called Steve, Steve Smith or something. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, I'm kind of uh, sad. You Steve haven't gotten to the before. Belichicks and Sejakas yet. I mean, come on. You got a whole <laughs> Eastern <laughs> European block to go through. Mendoza. Uh, I need to use Mendoza. That's yeah, right. Mendoza yeah. is what you got to use. Uh, yep. Yep. Oh, and wow. I'm called Billy Joe Turnbuckle, but you, you, my voluptuous friend, can call me friend. 
you talking to me? Was that me? Yeah. Was voluptuous. The voluptuous. Uh, wow, voluptuous. Mm. Appreciate it. Look, uh, Mr. Turnbuckle, we're just here. Um, I'm just letting you know that the uh, uh, the tax man cometh as they speak. Um, I notice your abundance of wine that you're uh, giving out to your followers and your friends here. Um, have you thought about uh, maybe uh, expanding your wine so that others may partake of such uh, joyous events in life? Capitalism is not me. That was my father. Uh, that may be true, but uh, just for a, uh, you need not, uh, how do you put it, make your life uh, uh, all about money, but maybe just to uh, make things a little better. Softer bids, better food. Maybe even a, a better production or more wine that can be made that uh, uh, keeps issues from popping up. We have everything we need here. Our beds might not be soft like the capital, but we have fish from the river. We have our wine. We have our herbage. We have our friends. We have our love. You should come in. <laughs> explore the love. What's, what's your thoughts on taxes? <laughs> taxes, that's just the man keeping you down. You don't agree with uh, the fact that you're paying to benefit others through the services the town has? Look like around, my sister. What do we have to be taxed? We don't have gold. We don't have silver. We just have our love. And wine. A lot of wine, baby. You could share, <laughs> could share the wine with others. That's what, how we're going to pay our taxes. I was going to ask. It's just like, well, I mean, how do you feel about them coming and take a percentage of it as a type? You know what? If that helps the people, that helps the people. It will. It's not Are Lord Tuffy anyway. Right. It's his friend, that Orem Gray guy. That guy's mm -hmm. a snake. Orem Gray. What's he like? He's an what? asshole. What does he do? We're we're strangers here. We have no idea. Tell us, like we're strangers oh, here. I have no idea. I know you're strangers here, sister. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he is. Funny enough, I grew up here. That's a joke, son. <laughs> I, 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 was, I was gonna go with it about his herbage use and a wild night in the pasture. <laughs> Are you my son? Uh, That's my son. You're too young. <laughs> Orem Gray is the counselor to Lord Puffy Tuffy. Puffy Tuffy. Puffy Tuffy. I love that. Uh, his friend, uh, Seth. Uh, mm -hmm. great. comes up with a stack of uh, weed that they go ahead and ignite in a small pot. It gives off a voluminous amount of smoke. It's oh. kind of colorish. And they just, oh, yeah, that is life. Anybody else want to take a big hit, a.k.a. Kyle, from uh, this kind of adventure sense, uh, legal in only some states? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I'm still on duty, so I'll, I'll yeah. take. Moon will take a hit. Yeah. Give me a, give me a con save. I thought <laughs> we created it for it. Let's see. What's my con? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and the cow jumped over the moon. Yeah. There we go. Literally. <laughs> yeah. That's now, that's now one. Oh, <laughs> You are <laughs> hungry as shit, man. And you know what? This Billy Joe guy. He ain't bad. He's, he is making sense. I reckon you are a good people. You are you are tracking this guy. You I understand. Understand. You want to know about love night. <laughs> Honestly, ah. just basic necessities of life are really all you need. You oh got my food, God. you got your living. <clears throat> yeah. So uh, Miss, oh, hold oh. on. Miss, did you take a hit as well? Uh, well, Mist is going to uh, break out his pipe and show them a little something about a pipe. Oh, okay. Uh, are you going to use their herbage? Absolutely. It would be rude not to. Con save. save uh, the right? opposite, nat 20. Oh! oh! 
Your uh, your constant dining on your weed is fine. <laughs> That's a twenty three. Well, gonna... Mist is a profligate user already. <laughs> what do you got? What the hell? I go sure. Why not? I, because oh, no nat ones, please. Please be another nat one. one. That one. That one. That one. No, it's not. The adventure one. ends right here. <laughs> that's that's half the it. party. Just... That's it. That's the that's the episode. Right? Love, yeah. baby, love. Not that's not it. a great save. It's not a one, but the save would be eleven. Okay, uh, you are distracted. <laughs> Actually, is it considered a poison? It is not. Okay, mm -hmm. just checking because I know like alcohol is considered a poison. No, you now have kind of a ADHD going on while Ooh. Moon Collins can now star in Clerks 3. Well, I, mean, I, think it's just, I think it just takes the edge off and she's kind of chill. <clears throat> At which point Mist is going to say, well, that's not bad, son, but try some of this. <laughs> oh, the devil, went down, the devil went down to, down to Jamaica. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's some good stuff right there. Uh, now, you, you are the shires. only one stepping back on duty. Yeah. And you notice all three of your associates are now just a mess. Enjoying yeah. the comedy. <laughs> <mess. laughs> oh, this is so good. Communing with the locals. <laughs> well, Moon Collins is looking for a robe to wear. <laughs> kicks <laughs> off his boots. <laughs> yeah. We have a job. I mean, I know we got a job to do. I guess we I'm should good. do it. Mama put my to... guns down in the ground. I can't use them anymore. <laughs> As everyone's distracted, I will uh, slip back a little bit and climb to a rooftop so I can keep an eye out. Sure. Uh, you notice that the military oh, is now. I want done a stealth, by the way. In this group? <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, I don't want anybody around to see me climb up the building and squat on the rooftop. So uh, 18 right. plus 6, 24 for stealth. So you're going to climb up on a roof. I've got a 20 foot climb speed silhouetted by the sun and you're going well to i'm going to seek stealthy. that spot where the roof has a nice hole in it as dilapidated as you say it is and find a place to camouflage myself down with my cloak and keep uh it what's your best stat my best stat yeah Ooh, um at the moment that would be uh dexterity Let's go ahead and call this a luck roll. You can add your dexterity modifier to it. Give me sure. a d20 plus your dex. Oh, modifier. Lord. <laughs> um, that's a 17 plus 4, 21. The cat on the hot tin roof does there find you go. a spot yeah. that uh, will support his frame and can keep an eye out. Meanwhile, you notice down oh, below, uh, people are gathering grapes, people are gra gathering herbage. Uh, Torga and Moon are ready to have uh, Billy Joe get at his guitar, is what he calls it, uh, and play some kind of folk tune. I know it in my head, but I can't remember it and I can't sing it because I don't remember the words exactly. <laughs> nice. Can't hide in the melody. Yeah. Kumbaya. Yeah, like How the hell did you not know Kumbaya is the name? That's like I, I'm sorry. These are my NPC list. I'm, I was kind of busy and it burned out myself. <laughs> I, I'm thinking John Lennon and Yoko Ono with like <laughs> give give peace a chance. Everybody's talking about bagism, bagism. <laughs> uh, so Mist, you notice that uh, the singing has started again. Uh, young ladies are collecting grapes in long sheer cloth robes and no shoes this place is yeah These... spawn, spawn ranch and this guy's nice place for a valiant's, oh! ass valiant's assessment is that these people are not the problem but when the guards show up to collect their taxes that's going to be the problem <laughs> so you know what speaking of kicking off shoes i kick off my shoes uh, Miss, do you see that the military has finished with the church and are headed this way? What do we do, boss? <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm kidding. I'm you, kidding. You don't know. <laughs> you don't I'm know kidding. Yeah. What you want to do, Mist? Oh, I, I don't need to do anything at the moment. <clears throat> the soldiers Thanks. are coming, but yeah, okay. I know that. This is gonna be. This is gonna go well. Uh, uh, have you ever thought that maybe maybe <laughs> the work we do isn't the best thing we do in life? 
You ever thought about that? <laughs> not, moon, not really, but you may be right. Moon, totally moon, right. moon, moon, moon. I like you, but I'm about to blow your mind. That's impossible, son. Okay, I I just pulled this out of my toenail. <laughs> uh, Boy, there, you know, there there is an entire life form on that. And what are you ready? What if we're just the toe jam on something bigger? What I'm right there, by the way. That's where I'm still next week. What? Well, what? I think you've had too much of that smoke. I'm gonna go. I've got a. I can't. I should probably try and stand. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I should try and stand. Uh, the sound of booted feet are coming yeah, up I was the trail. Here comes the sergeant. Great, oh, now I can say. Look, everybody, it's the helpers. Yeah, we're here to help. <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, what are we doing, boss? Okay, turnbuckle. You were told. What do you have to give for taxes? Uh, Billy Joe then goes off onto a soft spoken tirade about the man and the people uprising. Uh, the sergeant uh, just uh, 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 finishes off and he's like, What do you got? And he goes, I got the herbs and I got the wine. Some of the military guys are like, herbs? He's got herbs? <laughs> like, yeah, they're good stuff, man. We'll take some wine. Uh, so he's like, you know what? If it helps somebody, I'm all for that. So you take the wine, and you know what? You guys are welcome back anytime. Share whatever we have. Uh, there's a few derogatory remarks aimed towards him as being a hippie. Uh, and uh, some of the <laughs> young ladies and young men in the area have caught the eye of the military who are less than focused. They're also downwind from the breeze, so they are catching contact buzz. Uh, none of them seem missed hiding. Everybody sees Valiant and Torga, and they are puzzled at the uh, size of Moon and his current, <laughs> I would say, casual or laissez faire attitude. <laughs> uh, making them all happy. You ever seen a six gun, son? <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen the soldier dance? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I have actually. <laughs> you want to shoot at their feet? No, I will not actually shoot at their Darn feet. Darn it. If you're going to oh, do that yeah. while high, that might be a bad idea. Yeah. yeah. Won't it? Will uh, it? Really? Uh, Rolling that <laughs> one. Rolling that <laughs> one. As the sun begins to set, uh, the military takes their booty, uh, their yeah. tax base, and they head down towards Riverside. I'm going to follow them. Yeah. I was like, Is that what we're doing, boss? We're going to follow them? Tor Torga and Moon, you are slowly yeah, coming, back. coming out of it, even with the Nat 1. Uh, it started to clear, and uh, your friend, uh, Billy Joe, needs to take a nap. He calls for two young ladies to join him in taking a nap. Oh, taking a nap. All right. Oh, man. Now I got weird, Billy. <laughs> Pleasure. Hey. Remember Toe Jam? <laughs> I don't. Honestly, I don't even remember what happened. I blacked out. Oh, uh, man. I got war spilled the wine playing yeah. in my head right now. <laughs> I'm just a long haired leaping gnome. <laughs> Nice. Uh, as you guys, uh, you guys are following them, correct? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. We're going to shadow them. Y yes. Okay. As you can see, and folks at home, you'll see it in a few minutes here as we pop up the map. Uh, there are a large collective of buildings here. They're all somewhat dilapidated. Uh, it looks like many of them have small piers, clearly fishing docks, small boats, not large boats are present here. Uh but there is a general state of disrepair. It seems as though the military has angered some of these individuals as the units have broken off and are trying to expedite their collection before dusk. Uh, there are two individuals. Everybody roll a die. Odd, you see one. Even, you see the other. So any die. Even. Even. 
Uh, so Torga, you know. Valiant, and Moon are all even. Mist, uh, you see an individual who seems to be in charge. Uh, he wears a sailor cap, and he is currently verbally berating the sergeant. Uh, and it sounds like it's going to get ugly quickly. Uh, do you want to break off from Torga, Valiant, and Moon and kind of go investigate this, or did you guys all want um, to stay together? Is this still at the hippie place, or we're... Or are they have Riverside. Still on Riverside. Okay. You're yeah. not at Riverside. Yeah. Well, 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 I will uh, like nudge Moon in the ribs and then head off toward that. That's not his ribs. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I know where a cow's ribs are. Okay. Um, I'm Moon, like a carnivore. <laughs> you, you feel it. Uh, you can pay attention to mist I'll or turn. Okay. Man, he, what? <laughs> you see the tabaxi headed off. You see the argument uh, beginning, and this this guy in the captain's hat's pretty big. I mean, he's he's going to be a handful. Uh, the sergeant doesn't seem to give a shit. He's not going to back down. His men are a wee bit on the concerned side, as the captain has a few close friends hanging out, uh, and they carry a variety of mundane, albeit deadly weapons in the form mm -hmm. of uh, basic fisherman's uh, apparel, the hooks and things of that nature. So right. this, as you get mm. closer, uh, you can hear the sergeant address the man as Doc Master Peck Wheeler. Uh, and he is what going to be name. told in a ah, random generator, baby. Wow. Uh, he is being told in no uncertain terms that the sergeant does not give a shit. He's no better than anybody else. The taxes will be collected and they will be collected now. You also overhear Peck bitching that all these taxes are doing are putting us out of our jobs because that whole bullshit new port authority that you guys are putting in is just making our lives miserable and it's cutting off the fish and may... Uh, I hope the Mimic Monster gets you. Mimic Monster. It's called the Mimic River for some reason. <laughs> uh, Torga, Valiant, mm -hmm. and Moon, you notice an individual coming out of an establishment, and this guy is built like a barn. This guy is huge, angry, and is carrying a morning star. And there are several smaller uh, guards possibly female, possibly slender males. Uh, they are ordering this guy out, and pretty much this guy is not having it. Uh, as you three watch in anticipation, the man laughs heartily and he goes, let me show you a little hide and seek trick. The three soldiers kind of look at each other and look back at him this guy swings his morning star and <laughs> teeth go flying, knocking out three guards in the process. Uh, and he gives out this huge war cry and you think he might kill outright. Uh, I'm going. Should we even I'm intercede? <laughs> I'm, I, I'm already gone. I'm already going to head over. Okay. Worthy uh, challenger, man, is a worthy challenger. Valiant and Moon, what are you going to do? I'll move my duster out of the way, so like to near the gun on my hip, and I'll just kind of wait. Like I'm not going to shoot it. Yeah, I'm not going to start shooting, but I want to. I want to see how this plays out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, start shooting. Oh. Uh, now, Mist, you are in kind of the forward section of this particular district and around the corner. So you have no idea until the shooting starts what the hell's going on. You just know that Doc Master Peck is had it up to here with the sergeant. And he's got uh, a few friends around. Yep, Torga, Valiant, Moon, go ahead and roll your initiative for right now. <laughs> Torga is the only one. Oh, Jesus, friggin' God damn it, only a oh. four. How far uh, away am I in like, Distance from my party where I remember my party being. Block and a half. 13 for Valiant. That was terrible. Moon. Two. 
Uh, 15. That's too bad. Uh, Captain Steve Austin buries his morning. You know, half, <laughs> half the people that watch the show have, have no idea what that is. Uh, he buries his know. morning star in odd, even odd mail. Ooh, I a, can't get there in time. Shit. A female's head. Oh. Oh, it's oh, 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 a watermelon. <laughs> watermelon. Gallagher to her. <laughs> Gallagher, there you go. That's not ooh. crap stain. That's a different show. That's a different show. She got Gallagher. Uh, and female. The, the blood just gushes all over. Soldier. Okay. Soldier. Okay. Well, I'll be damned. Soldier. That boy can swing. What'd uh, she do uh, to you? Uh, well, you're you're a four. <laughs> I know, but I'm just speaking. <laughs> Sure. 15 is up next. Mood Collins. Uh, you, you see him, this this human, large human, uh, Richard yeah. Mall kind of bull Shannon human, is now covered in blood and it's dripping off his morning star as he's trying to decide which his next target is going to be. Moon, what do you want to do? Uh, I'll look <laughs> over at him and I'll uh, say, son, I think you've done enough. Let's maybe Relax your pose. Calm your shit down if you could. Persuade me. Because you will not intimidate him. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, 19 plus 120. Nice. Uh, Valiant, you see Moon trying to calm this individual? Uh, I assist Moon with trying to come, uh, convincing this guy to simmer down. <laughs> nice. Simmer uh, down now. <laughs> simmer down now. Torga, that leaves you. I want to fucking take him. I want to freaking knock his block off. That was. That was. Awful. No bueno. No bueno. That yeah, that's their no job. Bueno. <laughs> they knew it was coming. <laughs> they knew it was coming. Sorry, guys. They took the job. They took yeah. the incentives. Yeah. They, they got. They knew shit. what they signed up for. <laughs> that's why they're heroes. Yeah. Sorry, that's <laughs> right. What's what? What I'm not a hero. Playing? Oh yeah, I'm a friggin' fighter. I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna swing my warhammer at him. I go, that wasn't right. And, and here we go. That one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's only one person to hit, so. Uh, yeah, it's Moon. You know what? I'll tell no, you. No, wait. Moon's not. Uh, I didn't move forward. I just oh, okay. asked him to simmer I'm the only down. One, I'm yeah. the only one near there. I don't. So, I have a gun. I can shoot from a distance. I, only, I don't need to get in his I face. Only, lucky for me, I only do like... Oh, wait. It's a D10. I only do... Okay, I don't do that. Well, actually, no. I did more than I thought. You know what, Torga? You aren't going to hit anybody. Instead, you lose the okay. grip and... Bloop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> into the you're, you're, river. You're, uh, into the river. Was Give that me a your perception check? Was that girl. your sledge? Yep. Uh, 15, 15. Uh, as you see your sledgehammer go over and splash, you see something come out of the river. It's grayish or brownish. It looked like it had fins, maybe spikes on it. You really aren't sure what the hell it was. Do you want to go wade in and get your shit? <laughs> I got this guy in front of me. I can't do that. Round two. He reaches behind his Everybody back, can pulls grab. out a bottle, guzzles it, and he goes, that's good advice, bovine, and hurls the bottle at you. <laughs> oh, oh you got to shoot it out of the air, man. Uh, 16. Can oh, you? just hits. That's <laughs> oh, that's oh, but, oh, damn it. <laughs> I wish you could do that. That'd be really cool. Don't do gunslingers okay. have a reaction? Uh, no, not not this level. I need to be higher level for it. Uh, oh, as the shit. bottle shadow shatters across your horn and drizzles down, it comes to the corner of your snout. The handle's still intact, rolling around on the, yeah. on the horn. Meanwhile, back on the other side, before you guys can react, mist. Uh, it, it's really getting a little bit hairy there. Uh, well, I, I kind of did a little thinking. Sharks and jets kind, baby. Yeah, yeah. I kind of did a little thinking, and then I uh, rolled a die, and I thought that, uh, you know, overall, 
the Baroness is probably going to be less happy with allowing open fomented rebellion than she is with uh, us blowing our cover. So I'm going to go in on the sergeant's side if anything goes down, but I am hanging to the edge. I trust my companions can handle themselves. Oh yeah. I, I have no doubt that, you know, the sledgehammer less Torg is going to do fine. <laughs> if I hear gunfire, I'll probably head that way, but you know, for the moment, uh, I think you're about to hear gunfire, <laughs> yeah. uh, but does he see you? Oh, I hope not. He does. He's uh, 16. Oh, well, you and your puss just want to push us around because <laughs> you're a cat, folks. That's why. Don't read anything into it. <laughs> uh, Miss, do you want a clever quip or retort to that one? Okay. Nope. No. Well, we're ju- we're just wrong, and we're gonna go ahead and pay the fucking taxes because we don't care. He and his men pony up coin. Situation diffused. In that case, I will book it and travel uh, at least sixty feet in my next move toward my friends. Sure. <laughs> Moon, you're up. Uh, you've got the tip of the bottle spinning around on your horn, and you've got <laughs> shitty bourbon. Dripping down your snow. I take the uh, I'll take the the tip off my horn or the cup off my horn, and uh, I'll put the flap over my gun, and I'll reach behind my back and pull out my shotgun, my blunderbuss. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh yeah, I have a blunderbuss. And don't I walk, admit, do you don't roll out that one. And I look at him and I'll say, and I will say. Son, you may not be smart enough to know what this is, but I'm going to ask you one last time to calm yourself before you get the horns. Intimidate. Okay. If you roll high enough, he knows what it is. (laughs) That is a 16 plus. Where are you? Three, 19. 14. Well, aren't you just high and mighty with your boomstick? <laughs> I guess I'm the bad guy here. He starts to walk over to a dilapidated dock and get into Wait. a small dinghy. He's walking away from me. I didn't yeah. say I wasn't fighting. I grab. I want to grab his weapon as a reaction uh, for the attack of opportunity. His <gasps> nice. His uh, the mace. morning star. Yep, the morning star. Sure, go ahead and grab it. How do you, all right, uh, how do you do a grapple type well, thing? Well, so, so much for S- that strength is, X. Yeah. <laughs> strength is grapple. It's strength. Strength. It'd be, uh, like an athletics. Yeah. Be like athletics. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Here, it's com- it's a contested athle- uh, mm-hmm. athletics, I think. Yep. Well, that's not a one. That's a 13. <clears throat> it's not great. Oh, that's a six. So oh. yeah, you rip it right out of his hand and he just keeps walking. About that time, a guard comes around the corner. I got a morning star now. Queen sees, yeah. sees their <laughs> bloody associate and sees you With holding the bloody the money. Star. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! I need help! And he starts blowing a whistle. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you Stop see the guy that. get into his boat. <laughs> oh, then, wait, wait. The guard my... draws down on you and says, "Hands up, stranger!" How far? How far is the boat from us? It's yeah, just well, right on the shore. It's wait, like wait, seven wait. Feet away. Where are we in initiative? Uh, well, you just grabbed the. Uh, that was my reaction. Where are we in initiative? That was you. That, that was you. No, no that's that, grabbing the weapon was a reaction. It was an attack, attack of, of opportunity, opportunity for him walking away. Yeah. Where are, so was it my action? So it's, it's, yeah, it's your it's action. Oh, okay, I'm going after him. As soon as the guard shows up, I go away after him. I'm pointing out, he's the one that did it. Says the person with the bloody morning well, Bloody I with the bloody from, mace. I took it from him. Because he did it. Fair enough. Half and, a dozen witnesses. And, and Valiant, I did I not give you, you guys... your turn. What would you like to do? I'll kick her. I said she did take it from him. <laughs> I'll persuade. Persuade. 
You can yeah. do it. Does he get advantage for me saying, pointing this out, by the way? Sure, I'll give him advantage. <laughs> All right. Uh, 19. 17. Uh, the guard is stupid, as you guys have already pointed out. <laughs> Sees dead bludgeoned head in. You carry in the mace. He is going to go on a beeline to you. Uh, the man... <sighs> falls to the ground as you reach him. Help, help! She's going to get me next! <laughs> <laughs> I just looked at him. Don't hit me! Don't hit me! <laughs> and, and you are going to get hit from behind and tackled with the 14 plus 3. 17 hit you. Oh, you hit me exactly, damn it. <laughs> you get tackled into the mud uh, and give me another perception check. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is the magic that D&D. <laughs> yeah. I know it is. Oh, that was, that's, is that a 19 on the die? That's a 19 on the die plus 2 is 21. You see that your sledgehammer is handle up in the river, but there goes that fucking spiny thing. And just, <laughs> How far... <laughs> How far away in the river? Yeah, the sledgehammer, maybe five feet. The creature, six, maybe seven. Can I reach it? You're a dwarf, so no. I <laughs> know <laughs> uh, so, five foot arms. So my turn is fall into the ground, scream and help, help. She's going to get me next. I will say that, Mist, you round the corner as you see a guard humping Torga, uh, who Aww. is on top of another man. So it's just a... Oh, so we're, I'm a, it's a, it's a sandwich. It's a Targa sandwich. sandwich. It's a Targa oh. sandwich. Hold it's on. It's a Targa sandwich. That's got to be a thing now. The Targa <laughs> so, sandwich. So this, you can <laughs> turn around and walk the other way, realizing that this yeah. cannot possibly go any better. Or you can <laughs> do I, anything else. You see I, Moon and you see Valiant. That's the I title episode now. There, there appears to be can you no serious threat going on other than Targa in the middle of a you aren't sure if this is designed or uh, problematic at this well, point. Well, then I'll adapt a stroll and stroll up and stand next to Valiant and go, hey, boss, what's up? <laughs> yeah. uh, Moon, uh, you and your duster are watching this unfold. Uh, like how far away is the guy in the boat now? The guy in the D. Oh. He's he, under he never, me. He never got there. He's oh, he's under, under underneath me. Yeah, Torga he, grabbed a hold of him as the uh, guardsman tackled her into him. Got it. That, that, okay. th th this is, the, the Torga sandwich. Okay. He yeah. took Torga a. He took meat. a. He took a fall to make I me will, look more guilty. I will. Oh no, she's gonna get me next. Yeah. <laughs> he basically, he basically was trying to make me look guilty. I will. Uh, kind of laugh at the moment and then put my <laughs> I'll put my uh it I'll put my blunderbuss back and I'm like uh y'all could get up <laughs> instead of uh uh gallivanting like you're doing right now <laughs> I don't think there's any gallivant two more guards round the corner from oh, the shit. opposite side of mist uh <laughs> okay. going to jail <laughs> Torg is going to jail. You guys, you, got <laughs> you guys, you guys are my witnesses. No. For fuck's sakes, you yeah. know I didn't kill. Because they're gonna believe us. <laughs> they're gonna believe. Is the sergeant there? Has the sergeant made the round? Because the oh. sergeant is our best friend. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that, no, the sergeant's still dealing with Peck Wheeler. Because they're gonna Peck, believe the minister. He's still dealing with Peckerwood, huh? Yeah. Okay. Now, now Valiant no, Mist is you. asking you what's going on. Uh, yeah, yeah. I guess we should it should intercede diplomatically. Miss, <laughs> miss that big son bitch down at the bottom there. See those guards over there? The one with the exploded head and the other two on the ground? That yeah. was him. And no, so then uh, he tried to get away. Torga knocked him down. Yeah. Uh, took his morning star, knocked him down, and he acted like he was going to get killed by Torga. Then the guard came after <clears throat> Because Torga grabbed his Morning Star because she thought she was being hot shit because she lost her uh, sledgehammer <laughs> and to go in the water. Wait, Val, you need me to kill these guards or what? No, we just tell them that. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, no, 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 no. There was a pause there. I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm strangely comfortable with this. Yes, <laughs> we can either let her go to jail and deal with it. Like that, or I mean, 
the other option is we can intercede, you know, by telling them, look, we were sent by Lieutenant Chloe. We'll take care of her and try to end this diplomatically. Actually, the two we'll, guys. We'll, we'll, I assume we'll two take her. Guards. We'll we'll take her and uh, the guy because we did witness uh, the the bludgeoning of the the soldier. So Actually, Torga, Torga, you hear two more voices screaming, "Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Stop resisting!" <laughs> yeah. I didn't what do you do want to it, do? You assholes! Uh, That's yeah. You're gonna get hit. <laughs> you're gonna get hit. There you go. But now at least I can defend myself. <clears throat> I'm not going to, I'm not going to. Color spray. Color spray. <laughs> spray. We don't have color spray. There, but, there you go. <laughs> wait, wait. <It's> not a pattern. <laughs> <Well, okay. laughs> I caught it. <laughs> yeah. There you go. No. Uh, Quick question. Moon, you thought you were going to be the distraction force. That's how wrong you were. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought I would be, but oh no. my God. I've got one other. I've got one other possible scenario. It's What's Torga. that? <laughs> wait, wait, I, we take I, these guards. I have a question, by the way. On we those give two this, guards, we give them Torga. We take off and find out what's going on with this Orum guy. Yeah. Hey, qu- question: The two. I know one of the guards is definitively dead. Were the other two? No, the other two were knocked out and toothless. The two guards coming yeah, around see, the corner, they could, d- d- one, that, one jumps at you and one jumps at the other one. <clears throat> I so, don't... So now you got two guards grappling you <clears throat> and uh, what's his face? Uh, Captain Steve Austin has one guard. He's like, I'm innocent. I'm innocent. I am innocent. <laughs> he is, he's guilty. I'm not going to get off of them, by the way. I mean, they grab <laughs> my feet, but I'm keeping as much of myself on them because I don't want them running away. I'm just like, look, I mean, it, I'm telling them, I mean, they, they got to obviously see this guy's built like a brick shit house that he, he's the one more capable of, you know, cleaving so ahead. Uh, Torga with her 18 strength probably is more than capable. Yes, yes. Them. Argue the point that you could have killed them too. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, we're yeah. not, we're not we are, going to jail. Uh, oh, we got plenty of people. <laughs> hold on. Are we, is anybody, um, I'm not saying this in game. This is, uh, this is an out of game conversation. You should play it. I couldn't have swung that hard. No. <laughs> I mean, that's obvious. She's fucking got muscles, dude. It's not. Three more guards arrive. Uh, Get and they the haul fuck out of here. you to your feet and they haul Steve Austin to the feet. Who wants to make the roll against me? Uh, for what? I'm not telling you. <laughs> well, make the roll. Is what it, are we rolling? Does D12s? it deal with me D12. or is it, deal, is it me or them? Because if it's me, I want to roll the D12. You can roll. I'll, I'll roll against you. D12. Yeah, go ahead. That is correct. Oh, hey, the D12 is rolling. Well, at least 10. Uh, one of the guards notices the Captain Steve Austin is covered in blood, and you are not. Yeah. Other than uh, maybe a little bit. A question is risen. Go ahead. Point that fact down. <laughs> He's covered in a lot more. CSI. So, does anybody want to intercede or just let the mayhem continue? I, Valley, I think Mist is doing all he can to control laughter at this point. Valley, this might be your cue to use your human persuasion <laughs> yeah, against these yeah. gentle folk. Yeah, I go ahead and. I'll even point out my weapons. I'll, right I'll there. go in and. Uh, <laughs> by, by the way, inter- I try to intercede and uh, I, <laughs> I, I, I say, look. We we witnessed the whole thing. He is covered in blood. She tried to stop him. He's playing her as the patsy in this. Get so your hammer in the river. <laughs> yeah. So wake up your body. I can, can I can vouch. Truth. I can vouch for her. We were Persuade deputized. Okay. I was gonna say we were deputized to help out here, uh, and he <laughs> freaking killed her. Uh, eighteen. <laughs> Uh, the guards pause. Steve is not happy. Uh, and as he begins to speak, cutting through the entire group is a fist that pummels him right in the mouth. There's a guy with fragments of teeth who has gotten back up, blood down his tunic, and just punched Steve Austin in the face. Why, well, I'm worried. With a 17. Uh, 
Oh man, that guy's now he's gonna die. Yeah. So uh, some of the guards grab their other guard and try and yank him off. Uh, Two did ah, it. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, everybody focuses in on Steve Austin uh, and Torga. You are kind of. Uh, I, I kind of take Torga out of the out of the, 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 out, of, I got her out, of the do, out of the dog file. <laughs> I'm looking. I'm looking now for that monster. The the monster in the river. Is it anywhere what, near? What monster in the river? Nobody else has seen it. I know, but I'm looking. This is, I'm not saying this in per, in character. This okay. is part of the narration. You gotta go per- learn. I narrate shit. Perception. Uh, I'm looking to see if it's there and if I can actually go grab my weapon. Yeah, that's not great. That's only a 10, but it is a big. Yeah, your weapon's sticking out. Should be fine to grab it. He who pulls the war hammer from, from the river shall be king. I I'm gonna keep holding Brooklyn. the morning star, but I'm gonna go for my weapon. You're gonna you're gonna hold but on. Man, to the we're, we're gonna need that weapon back. Yeah. You yeah, I will. I'm just borrowing it for a sec because I know there's something in there, and I'm I'm not gonna go in there unarmed. Although I've I've javelins, but that's still that's I was about to say I got a short sword I can loan you. <laughs> so. Oh no, I'll just borrow this for now. I I will give I will hand it over once I get my weapon. <clears throat> you go in go over there. Quickly grab it and try to get the fuck out. Uh, it's kind of a muddy ground. Go ahead and give me a death <laughs> check. Make sure you don't get stuck or lose a boot. Did you remember to put your boots back on? Uh, probably not. <laughs> she actually wanders around a lot. The mini actually has no shoes on her feet. Uh, yeah. that's only... God, that's terrible. God, these fucking dice suck. That's only a six. Check. I'm pretty right? sure you felt something move across your leg. <laughs> And I have the morning star, and I kind of, you know, hit down. Uh, D20, make sure it's not a one again. Otherwise, you're going to snap your ankle. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's not a one. That's actually a 19. Okay. Yeah, you hit the water, but. <coughs> and grab a, I'm grabbing my sledge. She, uh, she grabs the sledge, kind of mucks her way out. You guys notice a small crab or crayfish attached to the bottom of her pants <laughs> oh uh, i get nice. a pet i get dinner yep small dinner uh they uh, haul away no, actually i throw it back you've it's got mr small. pinchy they, they haul <laughs> away pinchy! captain they haul away captain steve who's yelling the extraterrestrials are inhabiting the lord's tower <laughs> oh god <laughs> he's pretty drunk fucking nuts <laughs> Oh, nice. he's. I wonder if he'll even remember doing this. So he's <laughs> captain of the dinghy. So the not US, anymore. He's going to be US captain of the cell block here in a minute. Ding around. Uh, it's the sun is starting to set. Uh, you are in Riverside. Uh, lamps are being lit. Torches are being lit. Uh, hmm. this, this place looks like I don't want to say docks, but fishing docks. Uh, yeah. You can smell ale somewhere. Yeah, I'm hungry. Ale? Did you say ale? Did someone say ale? What? What? Let's go find some ale I think and I food. Think she, I think she wants ale and food. I'm hungry. Fights uh, me hungry. Everybody, give me a d20 roll. Oh yeah, and I did hand over the uh, morning star by the way. Oh god damn it! One. Fourteen. <laughs> Nineteen. I'll take the one now. This is straight up d20. Yep. Bye. Uh, the Minotaur can sniff that shit out. He knows exactly where the uh, tavern is, and you find it. This place is a bit of a dive, and when I say bit, I mean about 95% of a dive. Uh, it looks like fishermen uh, and their ilk are in there. Everybody roll perception check. It's my <laughs> type of place. That's better. 16. Um, 18. Uh, 14. Uh, perception. What was it? 15. Uh, no, sorry. 13. Sorry. Missed. What was yours? 18. Uh, you notice a set of triplets, female, in the corner, chatting it up with some of the local fishermen. 
Everybody else recognizes uh, a variety of personages here. Moon, you recognize that one of the personages in here is Doc Master Peck Wheeler. And he hey. is not happy. He is name. crabby. Uh, I'll go over and see if he minds. Do you mind if I have a seat with you, Mr. Wheeler? Free country still, so far. What do you got? Those are some mighty fine horns. Thanks, sir. Born and bred with them. Uh, if I may uh, inquire about uh, <clears throat> some uh, issues you had earlier with the uh, new tax laws that are coming in. The bastards? Yeah. What yeah. Are you, you, you one of them? You one of them G-men? No, I don't believe in the government, sir. I think they're silly sons of bitches don't let us live our lives properly. Sally, get this man a drink on my tab. <laughs> but uh, I had heard something about, uh, I had heard through the mutters that there's some uh, Port Authority uh, nonsense going along here. Yeah, just across the river at the bed. That's where they're going to make warships. They're going to make warships out here in a uh, smaller smaller area how's that going to be uh, hurting your business as a as it were we got to tear down our docks because it doesn't meet the cultural representation of this city or some bullshit by that orem gray bitch so orem gray is one more uh military uh, more of a military city so to speak something a bit more flashy is what he's looking for son you don't understand of course Orm not. That's Gray why I'm asking questions. Is one of us. That little bastard grew up shellfishing with us, but he's just now a highfalutin kind of politician trying to kiss somebody's ass. And that ass is old Puffy Tuffy's. Puffy Tuffy. I see. That's a uh, rat disappointing. Uh, Mist, uh, do you want to investigate the triplets? or? Oh, absolutely. Uh, they seem to be working girls. Almost <laughs> mm. well, profession. Yep. I and they, they take one look at you. Whew, 18. Yeah. <laughs> well, <coughs> look at that hair. All right. Hey, I can cure disease. You're welcome, Chuck. <laughs> You're welcome, miss. <laughs> You remind me of a girl that grew up here named Farah. You got some <laughs> great hair. <laughs> you want to break out the lipstick or what you gonna do? <laughs> barter for business first. <laughs> what? 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 He I think he's speechless. I think he is. Come on, miss, say something. Then we also record this for our audio. <laughs> I, I have no idea what to say. Um, Fair enough. As, as say miss, yes. Miss, absolutely not. <laughs> Disgusting. Hairless. <laughs> whoa, 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 hairless? whoa, whoa. Margo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they're probably not hairless. They get hair in their head. Should hack up a hairball in front of them. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think I actually believe Miss' uh, reaction would be to like back away slowly, pulling out his pipe. Fair enough. Torga and Valiant uh, Moon seems to be doing an impressive job with Peck. Uh, Missed. I, looks like he struck out. Loser. Uh, <laughs> I know. I'm like thinking, oh, what's wrong with him, man? There's a, there's a lot of Ripplets. other people in this area. I just you go up to the cat? bar. I go to the bar and I order a drink. Sure. I order some ale and I and ask for what, what they got to eat here. Uh, yeah. Fish. We're on the riverside. Okay. I'll have, I'll have, I'll have <laughs> some fish. <laughs> fish we're, sounds we're, great. We're we serve tacos here. Fish tacos? What, what, was the, what was the name I wanted to use earlier? Mendoza. Mendoza. Mendoza's the cook. Uh, okay. <laughs> Here, they'll, they'll get wow. some for you. Valiant, what do you want? Um, 
Well, uh, do you have a Chardonnay? <laughs> oh my freaking god! I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, I'll take it. I'll just, like this. I I'll don't ta- know. I'll this. take an ale. I'll take a. <laughs> Yes. They spit in a glass for you. <laughs> you can get another. You can get another glass. I want. I mean, you can grab a mug. I want an ale, please. Thank you. And fish. You're you're good. Sure. <laughs> I want to. Can I listen? Do I do I hear any interesting conversation? Perception check. Uh, maybe. Uh, fifteen. Torga leans around behind the bar, puts her elbows up on it. <laughs> Sees a couple of fishermen types uh, discussing something, blah, 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 something, blah, 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 monster, something, something, mimic. That thing's a mimic, okay. It's in the mimic river. I'm going to, well, I mean, I'm going to go, wait, I'll walk up to them, actually, go, wait, wait. Wait, you're talking about a monster? Is there really is there a mimic in the river? Is that why it's called the mimic river? So since they're sitting and they're human, variant human, they yeah. look directly into your eye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the mimic monster named after the mimic river. Is it a wait, the river's not named after the monster, it's the other way around. That's that's okay. That's Kind of strange. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me that's not the case, but okay. <clears throat> um, what it, it's it's an actual mimic. I think it's a dragon. To be honest, with it had, you. Like, I think sp- it is a I saw dragon. It. Yes, that's. I said it's I got think. spiny things on its back. It's, it's, the it's, other guy interrupts you both. You're both idiots. It's a snake. It's a giant snake. That's but why it, you know. That's why it does this. You but guys are morons. But it's got the a two spiny of them back. Start to do this to each other, like the meme of the guys. Uh, uh, <laughs> what's that one show? The old guy with the Pond white hair, or... Pond Star. Well, no, yeah, it's, no, it's not Rick, but it's the other. One. It's the guy that makes motorcycles or whatever. That's oh, what you're, oh, yeah. oh, the, the that's what you're seeing. So the yeah, you're, you're yeah, seeing them yeah, arguing. Junior and yeah, senior. and Torga, they they yeah. are talking over you as they're just finger pointing at each other. Yeah, the, now, well, the, everybody the talks guy's over like, me. You know what? The you know she saw it too, so she knows it's a fucking dragon. So you don't know what the hell you're talking about. So why don't you shut shut it? Just shut it, shut it. I'm just like, well, has anyone ever fought? I'm just it? like, well, guys, technically, a dragon <laughs> is a serpent, so you're both right. Is that wrong? But aren't, it you, adds- aren't you the guy that just ordered the Chardonnay? <laughs> yeah. hey, Why don't you to- shut up, shiny boy? <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, Moon and Mist, you can overhear that the conversation is quickly deteriorating with your associates. <laughs> hey, Moon. Bar fight? I mean, I'd hate to... Uh, oh, I eat first. I'd hate to... I'd hate to ruin this fine establishment by hurting someone. Uh, I will. How about I give them a stern warning? Gentlemen, if you could treat uh, everyone with equal respect, I'd much appreciate it. Lest uh, someone walks out of here bloody. Persuade me. (laughs) Oh, please don't. I love a good bar fight, man. Uh, 17. I still say it's a snake, and you and her are just stupid. I didn't. <laughs> oh, you're gonna call me stupid? It's got spines in its back. I got a good up close look at Wait, it. Wait, who did he say that about? The moon just speak up. Did he bring just drag moon into this too? Uh it sounds did. like it. He just called me <laughs> stupid. Oh no 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 no! The stupid comment oh, was referenced. Torga and the other guy. Yeah, because I don't. I don't think oh, it's a snake. It's oh, not. Okay, the other it had guy. spines <laughs> and spikes coming out of his back. That is not a snake. I saw a good look at it today. Really? Didn't Absolutely. go over your head. Well, it was kind of. <laughs> Hell, there was if the river's above my head, then you're wrong in trouble. Are you a girl? Am I? That's what I'm asking. Does it matter? 
Well, I noticed you don't have no shoes on. That's right. I mean, her boots are in a back, uh, would be in a pack or whatever. She's carrying her shit around and. Uh, you forgot to select boots and uh, hero. No, 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 <laughs> well, she selected like... them, but she didn't equip them. <laughs> no, it was on purpose. Uh, no, because in her original appearance on the show, she did not have any shoes. She's got halfling blood. It was very, we were very poor in that episode. Uh, what does that have? I said, what, do, what does it matter? So, Moon, apparently they are not taking your advice, but they are a little bit lower. Yeah, uh, that's good enough. Peck looks at you and he goes, well, thanks for the drink, friend. And he starts to get up and leave. You have a good night. Uh, you, have any, you have any more uh, further complications that need handling with this uh, taxation issue, you let me know. Why don't you go up to Orin Grimm or Orin Gray and knock his teeth out? I heard something like that happened out on the street tonight. Right. Did you say something about knocking somebody's teeth out? It's not a serpent. It's a fucking dragon. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I, freaking knock. I will look at him like, shut up before I knock your teeth out. Oh, hey, yeah. Shut up before you knock my teeth That big steer over there just told us to shut up. Maybe you uh -oh. will shut up. 2021. 20, I'm making a tip. Hey, hey, hey. You with the horns. 21. This one's running her mouth. I bet. No, I just I said, I with that last comment, I was trying to intimidate him, and that's a 21. Yeah, now he's calling in help. He's scared to death. Mooney's calling for help. <laughs> hit me, hit me. <laughs> Morgan, <laughs> stop, scaring, <laughs> stop scaring the locals and let them, let them have yeah. their moment. Yeah. Oh, God. Well, you know, you somebody mentioned about uh, knocking somebody's teeth in. If you're gonna Stay. fight him, if you're gonna fight him, just punch the damn man in the face and get started. Stop yeah, really. playing around. Let's go. Well, just know somebody else we have to go punch. Uh, Valiant and Mist, go ahead and give me perception checks. Yeah. I want to go do that. Uh, Twenty six. <laughs> Twenty. Oh wow, mm. that's great. Uh, <laughs> especially since I only rolled an eight. <laughs> Uh, missed you over here at the table sitting right behind you. Blah, 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 Billy Joe Turnbuckle. Oh, Turnbuckle. Decent weed. Hmm. Maybe <laughs> love ain't free. What's that? I say maybe love ain't free. <laughs> maybe they're working for Billy Joe. Are we going to go and beat up this other guy? Such violent behavior. <laughs> Fighter. Beat up. Hmm. Well, I just heard somebody wanted, wanted us to knock someone's teeth out. I'm good uh, at that. The uh, snake and the dragon boys have decided they've had their fill and they are going to go ahead and leave the establishment. Uh, the snake guy uh, tips yeah. his head to Moon, says, Thank you very much. And they wander out. Peck has also left the building. Have you guys given any thought about lodging for the night? Um, is there lodging here? Not uh, really. <laughs> yeah, it's just it. a restaurant. You can always go back to the hilltop, stay at Spawn Ranch. We could stay with the hippies. I know. I know. I know. Nice I know. Mist is, is, would be happy about that. There was a nice hole in the roof there. Yeah. Well, it may also uh, it may also be that uh, Mr. Turner, uh, Mr. Turnbuckle, yeah, yeah. may have a little more to him than, uh, than people may ever suspect. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this may be the uh, outside of uh, mm -hmm. what he is. Maybe go see if he's got a uh, side hustle he's running in the evenings. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, go we'll back go. to the hilltop. If yeah. not, at the very least, we could find uh, inexpensive lodging. Yeah. We got. So we'll go back there. We don't need any expensive lodging. He offers on the free right. lodging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, all the wine you can yeah. drink and all the... <laughs> As you guys walk along the... Carol's had too side, much. Everybody yeah. go ahead and roll perception. You did oh. have a oh. oh, my. That's such a low number. 14. 16. Uh, 13. 10. 
Uh, Mist, you swear to God, in the moonlight, you saw something break the surface of the water. Oh, I have dark sure, too, so. You aren't sure if it was a dragon or a snake. <laughs> um, well, you know, here's our problem with that. Mist's current obsession is like seeing a dragon. Oh. Odd dragon, even snake. Twelve. Pretty sure it was a snake. No, oh, okay. That's fine then. Meaning Torg is full of shit. <laughs> no, that I'm not. A, I... That was a snake. It was Don't ask. A snake. Pretty sure it was a spiny snake. It's dark. How could you possibly tell? Oh, no. <laughs> no. It was it had spines. As it. you got as you guys spiny get back serpent. to Hilltop, there is Music playing around a campfire, and somebody has what they call a mouth organ. No, not one of those. It's a <laughs> harmonica. <laughs> nice. Okay. So, yep. Yep, so yep, yep. There, there is a harmonica, bongos, and the guitar. Uh, and they are having a, themselves a nice little kumbaya moment again. Okay. There's a bail. Oh of weed on the fire and the whole place is just filled with smoke. It's like romancing the stone. It keeps throwing keys on the fire. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. Look at those snappers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and looking at the clock, uh, I didn't think we would get to the main problem and I was correct. But you were God correct. damn it. You guys have completed night one. Uh, who knows? Maybe we get the four of these guys together and do yeah. day Two. Yeah. Uh, Jesse, what'd you think? It was good. I was uh, a little surprised. I was. I didn't shoot anybody. <laughs> I really like Moon, Jesse. I, I mean, was waiting. Moon's a great Moon, character. Yeah, Moon's a great you character. Should have blubber busted. You should have. Should have blubber Carol. busted. <laughs> well, that's what I was gonna. I was really. I was thinking. I was gonna. I was like, I'm gonna walk out with a blubber bust and just shoot him in the kneecaps <laughs> and Why blow it like. Blow the dead eye and violent shot. And no, you were gonna you, you were gonna roll on that one and shoot me in the kneecaps. Well, if I would have used sure, the dead we'll eye, say that one. <laughs> if he would have used the dead eye, I mean, if I would have used the dead eye, that gives me advantage and violent shot, which would have yeah. took that would have gave me an additional damage die. I could have <laughs> probably ended your life with a shot, possibly. <laughs> or, or best case scenario, Eileen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> Why not? I mean, hey, you know, I think uh, doing bad things to my characters on the show is just kind of the norm now. No, it's, you know, it's, it's easy to do. It's fun. I like this. Uh, trying to figure out what's uh, it's it's a very realistic situation. So it's annoying. It's not necessarily lots of gray area in this. It's frustrating. Yeah, I, I wanted to design it for a lot of RPG. Or yeah, RP, that's so. what it was. Yeah. Uh, David, what'd you think? I enjoyed it. I really did. And uh, yeah, I mean, the the character, I didn't play him as much as a dick as I based him off uh, as the... I had that handled with all my... Oh, the yeah, you, have... <laughs> you, need, you know what, David? You need to keep rolling with the Chardonnay. You really just need to, because that is such a douchey thing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was. You could have gone for the IPA. Hey, Carol, how do you really feel? (laughs) I don't think, well, I don't think you didn't play him like a total douche. So, I mean, (laughs) so it really was. You got to grow. David character, yeah. yeah. Hey, I've got uh, room to grow now. (laughs) No, no, no. I, oh, God, this is fun. I do, I think it would be really cool actually if we could get, get back together and and play more of it because I'd love to find out about the monster in the river and and what the actual issue is. It's it's not a snake. I don't know. I'm not going to even go as far as say it's a dragon. Tiny snake. I don't think it's a dragon either per se, but uh, I don't know. I have no idea what it is. Uh, no, it was it was fun and yeah, I like to do. I love to continue with this group just you know to solve the other mysteries that are here. Sure. Last but not least, Rob, what'd you think? Oh, it was a blast. I, I didn't kill anything. I yeah, never even drew a us. weapon. We Surprisingly, never even... only Torga killed somebody, is what I heard. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what no, I heard. No, I didn't even do that. I mean, that would have been... Torga's bloody the only weapon, one that rolled initiative. Dead person, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but you're right. There's, a, a, there's but, a bloody but, mace that says differently. That's right. <laughs> there's <laughs> fingerprints, witnesses. Yeah. Go right back. You're the only one that rolled initiative. 
guard, the guard, the guards that survived know damn right well it wasn't Torga. Yeah, that that was my only thing that I didn't think through. I should have just killed all three of them. That yeah, was... if you did, then I would. But see, but I kept that in mind that two of them were probably still alive. So well, I'm that, sorry, that, I'm, that's that's I, my I'm, bad. I'm, that's on me. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But no, the problem is this is not my talkie character, okay? Because no, it's not. What? <laughs> <laughs> not, no, she's not good at talking. Okay, she's not the diplomat. Oh, she's, okay. She's, yeah, okay. no. Oh, no, no, no quality, not, not quantity. I mean, exactly. quantity, not quality. Nice. <laughs> Folks, well, this has been Murder Hobo Inc. Thanks for joining us. We hope you had a good time. Follow <laughs> us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about DD, join our Discord. If you want to buy our crap, high quality merchandise, uh, find our shop. Uh, most importantly, if you want to join us for a one shot in two weeks or yeah, two weeks from tonight, or on the talk show, but not this Tuesday. Uh, M Hobo Inc. Twitter and Gmail. Uh, don't forget to take a look at our sponsors at Pirate Dog Dice for customized dice, and of course, oddfishgames.com for adventure sense in case your game stinks and you want to spice it up a little bit. Uh, I do not think they have currently have Mimic River Monster uh, because I think they're waiting for us to decide whether it's a dragon or a snake. Uh, that's probably, up to you you're the gm here you did you prevent the monsters what so. do i say deciding. the dice decide uh folks thank ah. you for joining us no show tomorrow uh we'll be out of town so tuesday don't forget uh pro dm uh we got a couple of professional dms that are willing to give us their insight on what it's like to uh, have a dream job. Uh, so join us Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on twitch.tv slash mhobo inc. For all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., enjoy the rest of your weekend. Let's give them the kiss and the wave. Mwah!